10 senators from both parties visibly happy to announce agreement. Three years ago, Republicans and Democrats grabbed your money, promising to build thousands of miles of fiber optic cable. Cable that would provide high-speed internet to all of America. $65 billion broadband push. Three years later, no one's been connected. Not a single project is underway. Why? Because governments aren't good at building anything. As Milton Friedman put it. Very few people spend other people's money as carefully as they spend their own. Politicians spending other people's money wasted it. Private companies laid miles of cable, while government officials obsessed about giving broadband to the right people. Boys, girls, people of color, people living in rural America. Aging individuals, prisoners, LGBTQ persons. Any company that wants funds to build broadband has to hire certain people. You have to hire these certain people based on their color, based on their sex, and you have to use unions. Matt Cole's investment company researched the government's funding and made this ad. What am I looking at here? Oh, there's nothing more important than making sure you're representing all the right causes. You have all these companies that could actually do this, and they say, this is unimplementable with the restrictions, so they just walk away. Eventually, government will probably succeed at installing some broadband. But by then, this hard-to-install cable may be totally unnecessary because of satellite internet like Starlink. Starlink already exists and costs much less. They could do it literally today. You could, you could have devices in these people's homes within the next couple months, and they could have high-speed internet access. So why didn't administration officials do that? They said Starlink failed to demonstrate it had the ability then, once it became clear that Starlink obviously did, the administration said it won't use Starlink because it's a monopoly. So first they're not functional, now they have a monopoly. The reality is, is that they didn't want that to be the solution. They don't want to give money to Elon Musk. Take over, Elon, yes, take over. But now Musk has a friend in government, so things may change. But that's not a good way to spend your money. Politicians doling it out to their friends. In fact, politicians have a bad track record when they decide what to build. They pump billions into high-speed rail. Fifteen years later, we still don't have it. They lost $500 million on Solyndra, almost a billion trying to create synthetic fuels. More recently, a Biden meatpacking scheme starved a million chickens. And although Biden promised government would build 500,000 charging stations. Two years later, how many have they built for $7 billion? Seven. And again, government's failure at building things is not just a Democrat thing. Republicans joined Democrats in grabbing your money to build computer chip factories. We will enable advanced semiconductor manufacturing to make a comeback here in America. Democrats bragged about adding strengths. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. The CHIPS Act contains 19 sections aimed at helping minority groups. You already have a talent problem. Now you're looking at only being able to recruit from a very small minority of individuals. Then you have to do climate pledges. Then you have to hire from unions. But diversity is good. And there has been horrible discrimination in this country. That doesn't mean that you should shift the pendulum back to hire someone because of their race or their skin color if they're a diverse candidate. Despite the billions you spent, most chips are still made in Taiwan. And even when we pay their chip makers, they struggle to build in America. A major Taiwanese chip manufacturing plant will be delayed again. If our government wants chips made in America, they should get out of the way. Micromanaging microchips just slows things down. Even if they get what they promise, doing the numbers, $53 billion and 115,000 promised jobs, that's almost half a million dollars per job. You would expect nothing else from government inefficiency, right? With Republicans in charge, some think things will be better. But as I said, the problem isn't just Democrats, it's government. Republican politicians also harm people when they try to improve on the free market. Trump's steel tariffs destroyed American jobs because they raised the price of steel. Our government should just stop subsidizing politically connected businesses. And maybe Elon Musk will convince Trump to do that. He's actually tweeted that all subsidies should end, including his own. But I won't hold my breath.
we spent $2.5 trillion. We got everybody pay increases. Once politicians are in power, they always want to do more with your money.